All right, so for this week, uh, the Wall Hill AAJ channel is in, in Maine, uh, following Mark Reens, and we just went to Red's, uh, Red's Eats to try out their lobster roll, and it was really good. So um, we're gonna go through the six lobster shacks, four that Mark Reens had, and two more. Um, we're gonna go to Trenton Bridge, and we're also gonna go to Harris Seacup. Um, so stay tuned and watch those videos. Uh, they're pretty good, so come with me for this journey, for this next week. All right. This is the uh, Harris Seacup Lunch and Lobster. We're at the Harris Seacup Lunch and Lobster Company. Let's go in, do some ordering. Look at the lobster roll fries and look at the fried scallops. I'll get a pint of those and see how this works out. It's right by the water, this place. Pick up the scallops, uh, lobster roll, and a lemonade. So let's, let's take a look. So it actually is on the water, the um, Harris Seacut uh, Lunch and Lobster Company. Really nice uh, pint of uh, fried scallops. These scallops. These are amazing. They're fresh scallops, battered and fried. They're not the fake ones or whatever. These are really good. Mm, first lobster roll. Oh, it's delicious. Um, the fries are good, but this, these scallops, they're fresh scallops and they're fried. You definitely should come here. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna keep eating this. It's good. This is amazing. Mm. Mm. So this is Day's Crab Meat and Lobster. This is where Mark Means was. I'm gonna go in there and get some lobster. All right. This is the ordering window. That's the menu. I'm right by the side of a road here. So this is my rental car. This is we're at Days Crab Meat and Lobster. Um, so we spent forty-eight dollars and fifty-eight cents or so. We got a whole lobster and a lobster roll. They started around eleven o'clock when they start serving lobster rolls. They open at nine. And I'm talking to the lady there, and she said Mark Wien showed up at eight in the morning and they started shooting. Um, and uh, they didn't know that he was going to show up. That guy has like seven million followers. But anyway, um, so I'm going to come here and eat. So we're waiting for the um, lobster to get done, take about 10 to 15 minutes. We'll pick up from the side window over here. There's our pickup window, and over here, a bunch of people lining up. So, this is where the side window is. Come around the side here. And we have some picnic tables on the inside, some pictures, and we'll get our food from this side window. So, let's wait. All right, so the food showed up, and so when Mark Means came here, he couldn't get the lobster roll. They made it themselves. They served them at 11 o'clock. So let's take a look at this. It's got claw meat, it's got knuckle meat, it's got tail. And we took the medium lobster, which is the one and a quarter pound. Um, it comes with fries, and I think it's clarified butter. Um, but let's start cracking. Let's take a look. Oh, this biscuits, probably not gonna eat those. I'll eat some of the fries though. But this is the thing we wanna check out. The lobster roll. So we have the lobster roll. Let's take a bite. Oh, that's delicious. It's briny. It's chewy. It's cold though. Mm. It comes with coleslaw. Really cabbagey. Slops roll is amazing.
Hmm. You can see there's big, whoops, oh shoot, big chunks of lobster in there. It's better than Harakitsu. Oh yeah, significant margin. Hmm. It comes with a lobster bib, of all things. We won't be using that. So here's our little guy. First we'll uh, break off his claw. Oh, it's briny. Mm. Here we go. Ouch, ouch. I saw Mark Weens doing this. He pumped the, uh, the claw. Hmm, salty brininess. Good. Got one of his claws, get the other claw. Rip. Remove the elastic. This is the crusher claw, the other one's the snipper claw. Good. All right, so let's crack the tail off. Full of tamale. Let's twist the body off. We got the tail. We squeeze. And then de shell it. Should have used that lobster bib. There's the tail. Right, so we deveined it. Eat it. Pat of butter. Oh, that's good. Mm. Okay, so we finished eating and headed back to our car. We have a shop here for selling actual live lobsters. You want to send them anywhere. So the verdict is, should you come here? And the answer is yes. The lobster is good. Um, the lobster is very fresh. The one that they uh, gave you for the whole lobster. I recommend you buy a second lobster because there's not much meat in there. And the second lobster is actually cheaper than just buying the one. Um, but the lobster roll, absolutely fantastic. This is the road to McLoon's. The last little bit over the water. That's what it looks like. It's the water behind those houses. So we are pulling up. As you can see, there's like boats and whatnot out here. It's really actually gorgeous out here. I think that's McLoon's Lobster Shack. Let's go this way. Pretty nice. Okay, so this is the famous McLoon's Lobster Shack here. Here they go to order, so let's go order. All right. It's right on the water here. That's that thing that uh, Marquinhos showed. They store the lobsters just off the pier. That's the menu. And we've got the slops for Rolls Royce. So let's go get that. So I have a Rolls Royce and a steamed lobster, that's it? That's correct, yes. Uh, well, uh, by the way, what else did Mark Weens eat when he came here? The uh, food blogger. I think he got the clam chowder, but we're out of it tonight. Okay. Sorry. We have the corn chowder, though. Uh, no, that's, that's good. What else did he have? Do you have anything else I should try? He said the steam, because you guys steam, no one else he steams here. Soda. You got a soda? Anybody know what kind of soda Marquine's got? <laughs> nope. What? Yeah. All right, that's fine. I recommend the sarsaparilla. All right, I'll take one of those. Great. Okay, 
Rolls-Royce Dream Lobster Sarsaparilla, uh, 8279. Alrighty. If I can't find a table, how do you guys deliver the food? Can I just grab it and, and eat it by car, or if, if I can't find a table? Um, you can eat it in your, uh, in your car, or sit on the grass. Anything. Okay, I'll, I'll figure something out then. Okay. All right. Sometimes people share, too. Well, you know, with COVID, I'm not sure people want to yeah. share. That's the thing. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd expect that, right? So, so we're going to drink this sarsaparilla soda. See how well it goes. Okay, so for the Rolls Royce, um, it's like $50, but it's got uh, claw meat, knuckle meat, and also tail meat. So um, it's eight ounces. Normally it's four ounces, so it's literally double the size. But it's a chunk of lobster that they use, I think, is probably the difference. So I'd recommend you buy the $50 Rolls Royce. Um, the lobster is coming. Um, those are chips. I'm not going to be eating those. So we'll be working on this. Let's get a nice gratuitous shot in there. All right, so here's their Rolls Royce. It's eight ounces of, of meat. It's pretty huge. It's got tail meat, claw meat, and uh, knuckle meat. Let's take a bite. Well, that's amazing. That is a fantastic lobster roll. It's better than um, Days so far and the other place, Harris Her Kit. Well, that's good. This thing is so full of lobster meat. I recommend you come get this one. Oh yeah, so Jane, if you ever come with uh, Ryan, come here, get the Rolls Royce. You'll fill your mouth full of, uh, of lobster meat. There's tail, there's claw, and then there's knuckle. It's gotta be hands down. The best lobster roll I've had so far in me. It's so full of lobster. I think McLoon's is the number one place to come to. I think forget the other shacks. This drive out here, it's really far, but I think it's worth it. <laughs> My God, there's so much lobster here. I'm still eating it. It overflows the bun. Highly recommend it. Get the Rolls Royce. Interesting, they have a spork that's made of wood and it's compressed. Try some of this coleslaw. Hmm. <laughs> totally cool. It's got a spork made of wood and a knife made of wood. <laughs> Crazy. That lobster. Some of the lobster fell out, scooping it up with the, food, with the fork. My god. That was delicious. Next thing on the menu a quarter pound, one and a quarter pound of uh, steamed lobster. So the difference McLoon's has over at the other places is they steam their lobsters, they don't dip them in water. So Mark McLean said it tastes different, so let's see. Start by cracking off the claw. Let's crack open the hand. much water because I think um, with steaming it doesn't dilute the flavor. I think, so I think Mark means is correct. So let's crack this thing open. They didn't give me a lobster bib here either and the other place did. Days did. It's okay. Let's try to Break into this thing. Pull the meat out. And as you can see with the steam, whoa. 
very little water. It's a much more intense flavor. I think steam is a, is a better option. All right, continue eating. Here's the piece. Oh, that's sweet Maine lobster. Oh, that's good. This is fantastic. I'm coming back here again before I leave. Mm. This is a cavity. Let's pull the carapace off. Tail, squeeze. You should be able to break it free. Do it slowly or you're gonna get it all over yourself. So pull. Okay. Now let's remove the vein. We we'll have to rip it open here. Oh, we'll use the wooden knife. Which doesn't cut with crap. As you can see, it doesn't work at all. <laughs> all right, here's the lobster meat. Follow your dreams. You can reach your goals. I'm living proof. Every mouthful of lobster. I've dreamed of this moment. It's now here. So good, you gotta come. All right. So we finished eating at uh, McLoon's. Um, it's a beautiful place. It's over there. And uh, yeah, well worth it. Their lobster is amazing. Uh, get the Rolls Royce, it's $50. So eight inches of bun, uh, eight ounces of meat. And uh, their steam lobster is amazing. Um, they're not boiled in water, so they're not diluted. Was it good? Yes, definitely come here. Their lobster is amazing. Let's throw it into the Acadia National Park. And this, it's a Trenton Bridge Lobster Pound. Um, pretty cool place. Those are the smokers that are fired by wood. Um, I recommend you come and enjoy some wild lobster. All right, so we pulled into this place called Trenton Bridge Lobster Pound. And let's go in there and try some of their lobsters. Um, all right, let's go in these doors. In. Uh, hot, I guess? Hot. Yeah, is the cold one the one that the, it's like mixed with like mayonnaise and like yeah. celery or something? Yeah. Which is better? Gosh, I don't know. Celery. <laughs> okay. So he suggested that I get soda, and so this is local soda to Maine, cold soaker blueberry soda. That's it. Um, root beer, but I don't think I'll take root beer. I'll take the blueberry and see how that tastes. I'll wait for the, the uh, lobster and start eating. So this is the dining room. Um, so not bad. It's really early. There's just nobody here. So 54 is this lobster I picked up. They sell them by the pound here. So a little bit more expensive than um, in, uh, in Maine. And yeah, that's the lobster roll they have. That's twenty-four dollars. Not nowhere near as good as McLoon's, which had all the <laughs> knuckle meat and claw meat and tail. So definitely go to McLoon's. Um, so we'll try that. Uh, chips I won't be eating, and we're eating this guy here. He just came out of the, the steamer. So all right. And this is their um, lobster roll. Definitely not as impressive as McLoon's. So I'm gonna go back to McLoon's. It's a two-hour drive, but I'm still gonna go. This is just outside Acadia National Park. So, we have a fresh lobster that they just roasted for me. It's a soft shell lobster, so it should be uh, quite meaty and quite sweet. So, let's get rid of this. Add a little butter. Crack open our soda. 
It's a local main blueberry soda. Fizzy and really sweet. Let's take a bite. Almost lost a piece. Mm. McLoon's definitely better, but it's not bad. I see knuckle meat in here. I see some claw meat chopped up. I don't see any tail. Let's keep eating. Well, as I'm eating, I'm wrong. There is some tail meat in there. Come to the lobster bib. Trench and bridge lobster pound. We'll use that when we eat the, the big lobster because it tends to squirt. All right. All right. Now it's time to eat the big lobster. Cool. Twist off his claw. That's good. Um, it was uh, boiling water, so got um, a dilution of the meat here. So let's go and crack this and off. Suck the juice as Mark Means is done. Slightly salty, but really good. So let's crack it open. He said this was a soft shell lobster. It's actually not. You can tell because you can't crush the shell. So there's the meat. Oh, look at that. Slight dip of butter. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, now we grab the other claw, the crusher claw. This one's a lot heavier because the crusher claw tip will have a lot more bone on it. That is salty and delicious. I should use the lobster bib. I will when I break into the carapace. All right, I'm gonna crack this guy open. Some cracking. Peel back some of the shell. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. A little bit of butter. Wow, that's good. All right, finally, we pull apart the carapace. So grab it here, pull. Full of tamale. Rip this off. Okay, so the 
break this, you put it in your hand, crush it like this. That breaks the shell, allowing you to peel it. And we're peeling it away from us because last time it shot all the juices on us. Ouch. Oh, it's really hot. It just came out of the, the wood fired uh, broiler or boiler. Okay, it's dripping juice. So we'll pull here and it should come right out. It does. So what we gotta do is we have to uh, devein it. And wow, it's really hot. So it gave us a knife that actually works. As you can see, there's the vein there. We'll pull that out. All right, now there's the dream. Filling our whole mouth with lobster. Dip it in the, the butter. Got your sweet lobster tail. Oh, it's so fresh. Mm. Hey, it's Wally Hill here. Um, we're on our, our adventure for, of lobster here in, uh, in Maine. My summation is um, Trenton, bridge uh, lobster pound not bad the lobsters are good a little bit more pricey than McLoon's uh, their lobster roll um, it's chopped up lobster um, at uh, McLoon's it was actual big chunks you could see claw meat you could see knuckle meat you could see a huge tail meat right so I think so far McLoon's is the, the best lobster uh, roll I've had uh, but the lobster is good the whole lobster just like anywhere else it's sweet it's delicious it's mean uh, a little bit of butter and you're good to go um, that hasn't changed delicious um so yeah i recommend if you're on the way to acadia national park it's literally five miles from the gate of acadia so come here and uh, check it out it was still hot when it got to me lobster roll uh McLoon's is better all right, all right. today i'm in wickaset maine and down there is red Eats. one of the most famous and iconic shops for lobster here in, uh, in Maine. So when it opens, we're gonna go there and enjoy some lobster. So this is Red's Eats around 11.20ish. They open at 11.30 and it's got a big lineup already. Right, below this little tree here is Red's Eats with a huge line of people. Right up by the water here. This is the lineup in Reds. That's the end of the line, and we're gonna wait for our food in the store. Or the hanging basket here. Alright. That's the uh where you get your stuff from. Um they only take cash, they have an ATM here for you to take out cash. So bring cash if you come. It's actually back up against this tree here. It's kind of really interesting. Eclectic place, but it's iconic. So I also got this uh, green bee lemon sting. Be pretty good. So the lobster came, and it does have a lot of lobster. And there's tail meat in there, knuckle meat, and claw meat. And it does have really nice fries and way too much butter. Let's take a look. This is Red's. So Mark Ween said it was okay. 
Uh, they said the lobster fresh at the other places, so we'll try it out and take a look. But it looks fantastic. It looks pretty much piled high. All right. So I want to crack up our lemon sting. Tastes like lemon and honey. We'll crack into our lobster roll here at Red's. I think the reality is you have to eat this with a fork. And they do give you a fork. There's claw meat. There's tail meat. And there's um, knuckle meat. It's actually exactly as, as advertised. But it is $36, so it's a lot more than the other place. Let's try. Wow, it's good lobster. To add to this, this is a piece of tail. Dip in some butter. Oh, that's good. And without having to snap the shell. Mm. You need to eat it with a fork. Lobster roll. It's more of a de-shelled lobster than it is actually a lobster roll. Um, it's got all the different pieces. Yeah, it's a piece of claw meat, whole, nothing chopped up. So this, next to McLoon's, McLoon's is good. This, is, this place is good too. McLoon's have their own lobster pond. Uh, these guys don't, but their lobster is full chunk. It's not chopped up. Um, like um, the other place I went to yesterday, uh, Trenton Bridge, they had chopped up lobster. It wasn't big full, full, full chunks, but their boiled lobster was really good. So, all right, there's another piece of tail to enjoy. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> That's good. Get them a brighter. <laughs> get tired. Look at that piece. Hmm. <laughs> so check it out. This is like pretty large chunks of uh, lobster. They're not shredded up. It's good big chunks. So um, I think they did a good job. The fries are not bad. They're really well fried and really crispy. What's left of the lobster? I'll eat most of the stuff on top. The two uh, pieces of tail, the claw. I'm going to eat it with the bread now. All right. Try to take a bite out of it. Here we go. That's good. You can see why they're boarded number one. They got really big chunks. Really good texture when you bite into it. Very buttery. The bread nicely toasted. Yeah, I can see why they're the boated out really high. So definitely come and try one. Absolutely. All right, <clears throat> that was delicious. So your question is, was it worth a one hour wait in the blazing sun at 88 Fahrenheit? Absolutely not. But it is a very good lobster roll. So come maybe at the end of the day when there's less people but definitely don't line up in the morning, especially in the blazing sun. The lobster will always be there. They get, it looks like they uh, bring the crates in early in the morning. Uh, as I pulled in before 11.30 this today, I saw them uh, bringing out the crates. So come late in the day. Don't come early in the morning at this place. And uh, yeah, definitely should have a, uh, a red lobster roll. Unbelievable. This is the Five uh, Islands Lobster Company, the last place that Mark Means went to on his uh, lobster trip. So we're gonna go in there and order some lobster and a lobster roll. Uh, the Five Island Lobster Company. Um, so we're gonna get some lobster and that's what it tastes like. So go over there to order some lobster roll shack. And over there is the lobster shack. Um, so we're gonna go here and get a lobster roll. The fat boy, I think. And we're gonna go with the lobster for tonight. Okay, so that's the menu, and we're looking at the big boy lobster roll versus the normal lobster roll. And that's what we order over here. This is the inside of the little shack. We just ordered the big boy. Um, there's a huge lineup still, and they shut at 7 o'clock. Huge. Um, so yeah, it came up to roughly uh, $15.98. Uh, so yeah, it's $41 for so the, the big boy, the double meat lobster roll. And so we're going to go sit here and enjoy the view and enjoy it. There's a better shot of the snack shot where you order the lobster roll. Not sure they get the, the lobsters. 
you want them whole. And there's the dock. Um, hopefully there's less people here. I'm about to have my get mine. Um, I'm roughly uh, 228. So hopefully I'll get it and be able to eat here. All right, so this is the big boy. Um, and uh, I'm gonna chow down on it. So let's take a look. Um, five, uh, five Island Lobster Company. And that's their big boy. Um, that's like bits of pieces of, of lobster uh, versus the other place. But I'm gonna try it anyway. Oh, All right, wow. I'm gonna bite into this. That's really good. Great, really great menu. Yeah. Because, huh? Kind of overloaded. What part of Rhode Island is it's, um, Lobster beach, could be fresher. Mid, the south. McLoon's is better. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're probably wondering the verdict. Um, I think McLoon's is the best of all the lobster roll and lobster places in here in Maine. Um, McLoon's definitely uh, had the best uh, claw meat, knuckle meat, and uh, tail meat in their lobster rolls Royce. Um, in fact, we went back a second day. Dean and his friends came up, and uh, we went back and ate there, and it's consistent. It's really well, well, well done. I recommend that's number one place to go to. Red's has a very good lobster roll. Um, knuckle meat, claw meat and tail meat and uh, very discernible, very large chunks. Um, so very good. Trenton Bridge had a wonderful lobster pond. Um, they cooked the lobster out of the, the pond and then uh, they boiled it in this wood fire, fired uh, boiler. Um, it smelled like a barbecue and uh, it came out really hot and I, uh, it was burning my hands when I was trying to break the shell. Um, the other places were, were, were okay. Harris Seacott had some very nice um, uh, uh, scallops, um, lightly breaded and very fresh. Um, so I enjoy, thoroughly enjoyed that. Their lobster was so-so, um, and Five Islands lobster was so-so. So I recommend those two places you go to. Uh, the final place was uh, Day's Crab Meat and Lobster. Uh, very good, their lobster pond is very good. They cook their lobsters for you, and uh, you can crack them in, uh, in the little picnic tables in the back. Their lobster was actually not bad. They had medium-sized chunks of lobster, claw meat, knuckle meat, I think some tail meat in there too, but they weren't large chunks. You couldn't tell what they were, but I think those were the, the pieces. So again, very, very good. Not stringy, not little tiny chunks. So. There you go. We also went to Bite of Maine, a uh, Bite into Maine, which is uh, a food truck and, at Cape Elizabeth for this beautiful lighthouse. And Mark Green said that was very good. So here's the lineup for Bite of Maine. So I picked up a blueberry soda. So here's the line for Bite of Maine. It's quite long. All right, so this is the Connecticut style lobster roll, six ounce from Bite of Maine. Uh, Mark Wheaton said it was the best. So it's a beautiful location out here yeah, in Cape Elizabeth. Yeah. Where are you going? So I'm you having a, some blueberry soda. All right. All right, this is the Bite of Maine Connecticut style lobster roll. Oh, it's good. They had Connecticut style, Maine style, and also non-traditional styles of, of lobster rolls. So. I recommend you go there. Anyway, check out the video for our second visit to McLean. Enjoy. Wow, that's a that's a meal unto itself. All right, so I'm back at uh, at uh, McLean's, and this is their lobster rolls Royce. As you can see, big chunks of claw meat, tail meat, um, and I've got the steam lobster. And uh, all right, I'm back, and uh, it's the lobster rolls Royce. And uh, look at these chunks of lobster. Oh my goodness. All right, so like and subscribe.